Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Redstone Nyx here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do boss bar commands in Minecraft. And what I mean by that is, is that these command, this command, these, well there's several commands, but these will allow you to create a custom boss bar like when you normally come across the Ender Dragon, but you can use it to actually display a message for everyone's screen that comes on if you want to be a server owner or something like that. Now, before I show you all what that command does, guys, as always, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that, guys, let's begin today's video. Okay, guys, so here are some of the command blocks right here. I got, like, two examples, but this this allowed, this allowed requires four commands, and I'll walk you through each one. But I'm going to show you the example first, so when I press this button... As you can see at the top of my screen, it actually displays a boss bar with the with the hello message on it. So this is what I mean, and this will appear on everyone's screen. So you guys probably seen this sort of thing like on popular servers like Hypixel for one of those things. You would see a custom boss bar say welcome to the server or the name of the server or its IP and that sort of thing. So now, and this command gets rid of it. So. Now I'm going to walk you through the command and see how, show you how it works. And you can do this in chat as well if you wish. So, first command is slash boss bar add commands block colon boss bar one. And then the quotation marks and then the message you want to say is like, welcome. Press done. Second one. And these all are an impulse command block, by the way. So second one is boss bar set commands block colon boss bar one color to red. And there are other colors too, so you can do either blue, green, pink, purple, red, yellow, I'm sorry, white and yellow. So we're just gonna stick with red for now. And then we we got this one. Boss bar set commands block colon boss bar one players to all of them in your world slash potential server and then the last one boss bar set commands block colon boss bar one value 500 so if you're wondering what this oh if you're wondering what that means is basically if i just run these three commands here as you can see the boss bar looks it's at zero so 500 is actually the max value to fill it up so let's say if i do 250 that would be like half of the boss bar so when i push oh, so when i push this button huh guess not i thought it'd be like it'd be half the boss bar but i guess I'm guessing the value doesn't matter as much maybe let's try 50 let's try 50 okay so 50 is like half of the boss bar so you just need 100 in order to fill up i'm not sure why the command had like 500 when i found it but but as you can see i think if you just have if you pretty much just have the if you just put the value of the boss bar somewhat over the value 100 or exactly 100 it'll fill up the bar so it doesn't have to be like 500 like it was there before but you can do that sort of thing if you want. So that's pretty much how the command works. And what's cool about this is you can actually put more than one at the same time. So this is boss bot number two. And this one, oh, it also says welcome. And you can have different colors like I just said. So, so here's what you need to do differently in order to have more than one. So you just gotta do one little thing. Just change from number one to number two. To show that it's a different boss bar. Let's do this video is great. So we'll do that. And you can just, like I said, display different messages how you want. So it's very similar to the to the last video we did, which is holographic text commands, but instead of being the text being in one spot, it's literally above your screen in a form of a boss bar. 
for everyone to see. So that's the great thing about it. And now I'm going to show you the command to get rid of it. So it's basically slash boss bar remove commands block colon boss bar one. And you have to do, and you can, unfortunately, there's no, don't think there's a command to get rid of all of them at once, so you have, so you will have to put, like, either redstone repeaters to each of them, or you just have to do them in the text by hand. But just let you know, you have to get rid of them one at a time, unless you do a redstone circuit. So this button, get rid of it, and again, you need to make sure that the number's in front of it, so you don't accidentally remove the wrong one. And again, this is very good material for, like, people who want to be future server owners of that sort of thing. I could see great things happening when you use that. Okay, so that's going to wrap up for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this... Hold on, I got something planned for that. Do the following. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe. Or turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that, guys... Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye.